Welcome back, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi. There is a lot of talk about when children can be vaccinated for COVID-19. Trials are now recruiting to make sure it's safe. Tonight, KCO 9's Pat Harvey introduces us to a Calabasas teen participating in Moderna trials for adolescents. A blood draw, a comprehensive physical, a needle poke. Then, three weeks later, another one. It is an experience that I will tell my kids and my grandkids. 15-year-old Jack Elgener of Calabasas reflecting on his role in the fight against COVID-19. Do not know if I got the real thing. Jack is a research volunteer in the adolescent trial of the Moderna vaccine. Someone had a hypothesis and we're part of the people that went and tested it. In December, the FDA granted an emergency use authorization allowing Moderna to offer its COVID-19 vaccine to adults. It dawned on me, next is going to be in the adolescent population. Julie Elgener is a professor in UCLA's Fielding School of Public Health. Compared to adults... We know that um, pediatric patients respond differently to therapies. Professor Elgener is also Jack's mom. I'm a mom first before I'm a public health professional. And as a mom, my biggest concern is making sure that my kids are protected and the best way that the kids are protected is through immunity and that will come primarily through the vaccines. The fastest way to get vaccinated before FDA authorization, sign up for a trial. It is a commitment. The closest facility testing the Moderna vaccine in children and teens is in Banning. A two hour drive each way, plus three hour visits. Volunteers aren't told whether they're getting the vaccine or a placebo. After shot number one, but I didn't really have any symptoms. But three weeks later, after shot number two, I had a fever of above 102. A possible clue as to whether or not he received the real deal. I have a speculation. Two days later, the fever was gone and Jack was back in action. 100% worth it. Researchers will continue to gather data from kids like Jack for the next 12 months to establish dosing, safety, and efficacy. Jack is grateful for the chance to help out. This is like a very important time in our global health, and I was a part of this thing that will go in the history books later. Pat Harvey, KCAL 9 News. And we have more information on Southern California clinical trials for children on our website, cbsla.com.